Hello, I'm Clint Bowers of Brace Tool, and I'm going to show you how to disassemble and reassemble a 2.31 X-Lock. So the X-Lock has three backup rings, two which are female, one which is male. We'll unthread the packing mandrel from the key retainer. Set that to the side. We'll pull back our fishneck. That and allow our dogs to fall, our keys, sorry, to fall out of our lock. Then your fish neck can be removed from your expander sleeve. Your expander sleeve can be pushed back into your key retainer. And at the bottom, there's some tension there from your uh, key springs. Sometimes you have to use a little force to get that out of there. Key springs fall out. So to assemble it again, you take your key retainer and install your Expander sleeve. I like to put my expander sleeve in and make sure it moves freely. There's nothing binding there, no burrs or anything like that on it. And you take your key spring, slide it into the slot in your expander sleeve, and the little tab goes into the hole in your key retainer to make sure they're aligned or you'll have difficulty assembling. Same with the other side. And I just hold tension on it with my forefinger and my thumb and make sure my holes are aligned. Then with my other hand, put pressure onto your expander sleeve and push it into the window housing, key retainer. It'll be in there, those will be held in place now. You can use a little ingenuity to get that all started by threading your packing mandrel into there. You don't have to do a bunch of hammering and whatnot. Slide that on so your threads are exposed on your expander sleeve. And then install your fishnet onto your expander sleeve. Then you can pull your expander sleeve to the open position. Thread your fishnet on the rest of the way. Just remove your packing mandrel. install your keys. You want to make sure that when you install your keys, the tab on the key spring slides into the window of your key and not just in behind it. If it's just in behind it, your lock will not function properly. Now at this point I like to give it a little bit of a tap to put some spring tension in my keys so they're not falling out when I install my Install my packing mandrel until so the threads are flush. And then I'll pull my expander mandrel to the fully open position to make sure my dogs are being held or keys are being held in firmly. You don't want them flopping around and loose. If they are, your key springs may need to be replaced or adjusted. When they're in properly, you should be able to tap your expander sleeve down to that position and you'll feel the tension on the key springs and they pop back out. This allows them to locate your X profile when you're running them out. Your backup rings go on, female first, with the groove facing the bottom of the backing mandrel. Male and female. At this point you would tighten your fish neck on, tighten your packing mandrel in, install the desired equalizing assembly or um, whatever apparatus you're going to run on there, possibly a uh, instrument hanger for running gauges or whatever. There's many, many options for you there. Thank you.